Hello, sir. This is tech support. I will need your credit card information. It's official. The clankers are here, and apparently they cost less than a Tesla. Meet Neo, the humanoid robot that's apparently going to revolutionize everything, and by everything I mean household chores, and maybe even steal your job. Standing at 5 foot 6 and weighing about 66 pounds, Charlie, I mean Neo, looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, if that movie had a budget of about $30. The company behind it, 1X Technologies, claims this is the next big step toward human-level robotics, a personal assistant that can do your daily tasks so you can finally focus on important things, like sitting in a coffee shop pretending to build your startup. If you've been on the internet long enough, you've heard this story before. Every few years, a company announces that robots will finally take over the boring stuff vacuuming, cooking, cleaning, and every time, the demo ends with a robot falling down the stairs. 1X Technologies, though, swears this time is different. Neo, they say, is not just another wireback. It's a human-like partner for your home. But before you start preparing for the Cogsuckers uprising, let's look at what Neo actually does. According to the promotional footage, Neo can fold your laundry, load the dishwasher, and even water your plants. The dream is, is that you can sit back, relax, and watch your shiny new slave bot handle everything. I mean, that's cool. It's not like there is a game and a famous movie on why that that's bad, but here's where things get interesting. Because in reality, Neo's autonomous household skills are about as real as your New Year's gym goals. Behind the scenes, Neo isn't doing any of this on its own. It's being controlled by an actual person wearing a VR headset somewhere else, like California. So when Neo picks up your dirty socks, there's a human being out there experiencing that horror firsthand. That's the part they don't exactly put in the trailer. The robot isn't learning from you in real time. It's just being remote controlled. You're not buying a robot maid. You're basically hiring a long distance cleaner who's operating inside a robot suit in your living room. Which brings us to the price. $20,000 to own one of these rust buckets, or if you are poor due to bad decisions like becoming a CS major, you can rent one for $500 a month. That's right. You could either buy a new car or a robot that might one day learn how to open your fridge without panicking. For a revolutionary breakthrough, Neo's price tag feels less like the future and more like paying to have your data collected, and so you could indirectly participate in the robot revolution of 2035. The company insists that this is just the start, though. They call Neo a telepresence platform, which is tech speak for you still have to pay someone to make it work. According to Joanna Stern's Wall Street Journal demo, only two of Neo's tasks were actually autonomous. Opening a door and moving a cup. Everything else was done through human control. If I throw up, will the robot throw up? Um. So yeah, like I said, the AI-powered household assistant is really just an expensive remote-controlled mannequin with Bluetooth. And if the fact that someone else is puppeteering your robot doesn't freak you out yet, wait until you hear about expert mode. This mode allows company engineers to remotely access your Neo to help it learn. Translation. Random employees could virtually step into your house through the robot's eyes. They say it's for training purposes, but imagine sitting in your living room and realizing that somewhere, someone in Norway is piloting your robot to study your cleaning habits. Totally normal. Nothing creepy about that at all. Of course, this all sounds funny until you realize the massive privacy implications. These robots have cameras, microphones, motion sensors, and potentially access to your home Wi-Fi. Every moment it operates is more data being sent back to the company's servers to uh, improve the system. You might not have to fold laundry anymore, but you are technically live streaming your house to a data center. The trade-off for convenience, as always, is your personal space. You have to be okay with this for the product to be useful. So yeah, the bolt muncher invasion might not be here yet which means you still have time to learn coding and make sure you're the one building the robots, not the one getting replaced by them, which is where CodeCrafters, this video's sponsor, comes in. Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check. Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.